Welcome to another episode of Champagne Dreams. I'm your host, Stephanie, and I'm joined by my co-host. Daryl Dwayne. <laughs> good to see you, Daryl. Likewise, so good to see you at the end of this very busy, Ooh. almost raining week, right? <laughs> no week, man. It's been a week. I feel like every week we say this, everything's so heavy, but, mm. you know, we, we, we're going to push through. I feel like, you know, obviously things are still going on. Um, in the media with the Black Lives Matter and all the arrests. And I'm glad certain officers are starting to be arrested or fired. And I, I know there's still more to be done, but I'm honestly slightly a little bit glad that some other news is starting to trickle in to kind of lighten things up a little bit, though right. we're not making light of the situation. We just happy to have like a, a side yeah. moment, you know? And then, I mean, we're going to always remind you that uh, Breonna Taylor's officers need to be arrested. That exactly. Taylor. However, it is great to have a moment to, uh, sort of have the news cycle shift just a little bit to where we can still focus on the important things like right. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> you see how I did that? And, um, but still highlight uh, the other significant contributions we are bringing to the culture, right? And exactly. And this week, uh, somebody's celebrating with a little champagne, uh, Kanye West. He oh, yes. just signed a 10-year deal with Gap. And if you don't know anything about Kanye, he actually worked at Gap well before his rap career got started. If you remember like, the album's college dropout graduation. Dude, really I, like that preppy look and feel. So it makes sense. I, I, I'm like, it's on brand. Like, so I was the biggest Kanye West fan growing up. I ain't even gonna lie. And so like high school, college, <laughs> like I literally, whatever he wore in the GQ magazine that, that, that uh, I went and found almost the exact replica because I couldn't afford Kanye's, you know, luxury life. I remember I was in college. Um, so, so, uh, but I, I, and the Gap was my go-to, like the Gap. Mm -hmm. um, also, when I couldn't afford the Gap, Old Navy, you know, um, but I think they're sister companies. So, yeah, they you know, are. Like, you know, things, and you made it work. You know, I, I made my wannabe Kanye West looks work for me on my Gap and Old Navy budget. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that now, fast forward so many years later, he's, you know, doing this. Right. And, so uh, and 10 I'm, years? That's a so long it, deal. And, and I'm hoping maybe during this process too, like, you know, uh, Kanye from that timeline will make a reemergence, you know, like not knocking current Kanye. It's just, you know, well, okay, a little bit, you know, the, 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 the little Trump more woke part. Yeah, yeah, the Trump support part I can't get behind and the whole slavery is a choice thing I can't get behind. However, everything up until that point, I'm, I'm, you know, and the lyrical content, he's still the man. So I, I hope that, some of that wisdom that he used to spit when he would just talk in his interviews prior to this whole Trump era and everything. I hope that that um that comes back with yeah. this reconnection to his roots. For lack of I just way. hope that the stuff doesn't look like his Yeezy clothing collection. I mean, that stuff looks like hobo wear. And I'm not going front. I have a pair of Yeezys, like shoes. <laughs> but in terms of the actual clothing, I'm like... Like three hundred dollars for a shirt with some holes in it, but I think with Gap being like on brand, on it street, is, yeah. I feel like it's it should be affordable and should look like clean and classic with like a little bit of you know Kanye. I, agree. I, I think we're going to, but then think about fashion cycles, right? So you think ten years, right? Every ten years, fashion repeats. So we think about College mm -hmm. Dropout and when that album came out, and yeah. we think about now where we're at that fashion cycle. So he, maybe he's about to rebrand himself style wise as well. Like yeah. you know, Yeezy was a moment, right? And sort right. of like, and I think it matched. And this is where you, what people say, you know, you can kind of see his genius. It matched uh, the timeline of everything being fast, everything being crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And then now we're in this space where we're restructuring, even as people of color, to like focus our attention on things that matter to us, which means we got to look the part. We got to speak yeah. the part. So I think maybe he's coming full circle and yeah. fashion is just an instrument to do we'll so. See. I was, can't wait to see some of those I'm samples hoping. and see what I'm comes awesome. out there. Like All I right, said. so another rapper might have a collection coming out with Gucci. Gucci Mane. <laughs> I mean, how ironic, right? I, look, Gucci Mane. My family's from Gucci. Alabama, so, and, and Gucci's from Alabama originally, so I'm Jefferson County, what's up? So I'm like, I'm here for it. Gucci, being an Alabama native, moved to Atlanta, flipped his life, became now was one of, one of the most renowned rappers in the game, to now from rapping to owning a... Uh, or I guess you should say being the face of a clothing line. I'm here for it. Like, I, who is he being paired you know, with? I Mr. don't know. Like he he like tweeted about it or Instagrammed about it, and he was like, "I hope like what they're saying is true." I guess he, they've been in some talks, but at the same time, I'm just like, okay, well, who Gucci is Man it? is who a is very it? like, huh? Who is it? Who is he matched with? Uh, Gucci Man is going to be the face of what brand? Gucci. 
a, oh, Gucci, Gucci's Gucci. supposed to have an actual like yeah. collaboration capsule collection, whatever it is. No, nice. But I'm also just like, okay, you know, Gucci man and his wife, like Keisha, they're like super flashy, like super I, like, yeah, I over the top. But I love them. Can I say that out loud? I, I think it's like, a little tacky. A little so okay, so it's a little tacky. Um, it could be so I'm again, this is the way we like, I'm not hating like, so like, it, right? Like, so like you have to understand that Steph is the one that normally puts me up on sophistication and regalness, right? Let me put my pinky finger up. So <laughs> I can't say or not to say that it, there aren't t- tacky moments, right? When it's a little too gaudy, right? Oh, However, yeah. coming from where I come from, I get it because it's okay. like you know, super like, down south. Yeah, you you it's a southern thing. Like, like wearing, that's what it is. You want to show what you worked hard for, so okay. you, know, you may not be wearing it all the same. And this isn't a because of Southerners, we know how to pull. We move class and sophistication. We can pull that off too. But um, you know, I think it's just a matter of like being able to like you know show off the winnings from your hard work. So you know, and maybe just not at the same time. And maybe that's where the godliness that mm-hmm. you're referring to comes you, in. I mean, I get it, but you know, you know what I hope happens because okay, like yeah, now these fashion brands are tapping on these black celebs to hey, come and be the face of this collection and whatever. Mm-hmm. I hope whatever money that these these black celebrities are getting from these collaborations with these major um, predominantly white brands, that yeah. they'll use some of that money to pour back into these black fashion brands that have been struggling for years, oh. trying to make it and get on. Like, there's so many dope flat fashion brands. Like the last couple of weeks, I've literally spent time like just purchasing a little item from here and there from black brands. Yeah. There's some dope stuff, but they don't have the financial backing. So yeah, yeah go to Gucci is cool, but imagine being the face of another brand and uplifting and bringing up their brand. And now both of your, your, your brands align. That's true. Not too even, and even shining the light on those black brands that are doing successfully, right? Like you got your Laquan Smiths. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, let's be clear, he's uh, making clothing for the Kardashians. Like, and, and but you let's know, think about this, Daryl. Though, yes, that's true. Yeah. However, a lot the the average average black person or even person can't afford that stuff. That, like, I'm talking true. about stuff that's affordable well, and mean, attainable. That that's the issue. And I know a lot of times we all try to strive to get to the things that aren't as attainable. Like, yeah. of course I love, I've seen some stuff in Gucci that I like or YSL, whatever it is, but yeah. you gotta be realistic in attainability to the average working person. It's not attainable. I would agree. It should be like, you're thinking there should be like levels, right? Yeah. Um, kind of like how Armani has Armani exchange. So you might not be able to <laughs> yeah, buy it. Yeah. Armani. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I got a couple of Armani exchange pieces. Cause I'm like- I used to love Armani <laughs> exchange. It's the closest I'm gonna get for, to it right now. <laughs> And it's no shade. I mean, it's no shade and no shame in, in and any it's still of that just at all. Nice. It's still just as regal, yeah. But yeah. sometimes, like, our culture puts so much pressure on, like, wearing all this designer stuff. And I'm like, these brands don't give a damn about us, like, in real life, where they and want it, to be the face of this because they know other people are going to flock to it. And they don't pour that money back into the community. So I think, like, mm-hmm. when we, as these big artists are getting these deals, that's part of what they should be negotiating, like, Yes, I want my check to be, you know, this many zeros, right? I want it to be this many, right? But I also, on the same breath, want you to contribute uh, maybe 10%, 20% of the sales that I make into some Black-owned or establishment that supports people that look like me. Perfect example of this is um, Academy Award winner, costume designer, Ruth Carter, who I had the pleasure of interviewing a couple oh, weeks Ruth, ago. Yes, um, yes. So he, she has a collection with H&M. Yeah. And in her negotiation with H&M, she said, okay, this is great. I'll do this, but y'all have to set up an endowment at my, at my um, alma mater, Hampton University. And so they donated, I want to say maybe, I can't really, a couple hundred thousand. I can't remember how much it started with, but that was the deal that they, they came up with. So you've got to think about, you should leverage your power. The whole point of like, when you talk about giving back and using your power for good, like, yo, y'all want, want a collection with me? Okay, y'all need to support my, my HBCU. Full circle. NSU, Damn. when I get there one day, Hampton, I'm a guy, I got to support both of them because they both made me who I am. So Hampton University, Norfolk State University, like yeah, nothing but love. So, you know, but I guess moving right along. All right, but we're going to keep it on the rapper track. Uh, T.I., this fall, he's going to be hosting or teaching the business of trap music at Clark Atlanta University in okay. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Now, That's gonna be a is, 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 is he teaching like because <laughs> you know <laughs> not like I need to really know how to nah, I'm not gonna say he's, I don't right? think he's but is he teaching the trapping part or the musical <laughs> musicality and how we try how trap is connected? I know right is it like does the bacon go to 
Bacon I'm serious. Does or does the water? No, I don't think it's going to be that deep. Oh, okay. Like, hey, look, these are hard times. So, like, which one goes first? I, I, but <laughs> I think it's just like how that culture has really shaped music in terms yeah. of, um, like the business side and how yeah. maybe like, yo, you know, that, that stuff has been glorified so much in music and how a lot of these artists have used trapping to really build yeah. their brands and their business. Also yeah. like that trap sound. I mean, look at, look, look, look think about like young Jeezy or yeah. Jeezy goes by now. All his, you know, yeah. listen to white yeah. you know, man. The other day I just saw him on a uh, freaking CNN. I'm like, he's come a long way. <laughs> and, 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 and that's another great thing to see. See, this is why I love when we talk about opportunities, right? Will you give us, are people who look like us opportunities? We we rise to yeah, the. We occasion. built that thing to I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you look at you look at GZ when we were in college, right? And we was all doing the small man running. That's and the guy, right? Like, right, like like, and then you fast forward to now, right? And you hear not that he was because he was super articulate then, right? Absolutely. But he's giving spaces and platforms where he can present all of who he is mm-hmm. and forms of people who would not necessarily be checking for him. So I right. love. I love, love, love seeing our people come full circle. I feel like yeah. Juneteenth, like let, let, let's celebrate year round. Let's make that right. a year round celebration. <laughs> All right. And then lastly, so tonight is the BET Awards and it's going to be hosted by Amanda Seals, who you are in love with. You know I am. So Amanda, if you're watching, <laughs> I know that I might not be the she one. She's not watching. She's getting ready to host the show. <laughs> I mean, well, she, well. I mean, she might watch it in her dressing room while she's getting ready. Like, I mean, okay. somebody, somebody send her the link. Like, I mean, I'm Issa, somebody, anybody, I'm praying, somebody important, um, or maybe just a friend of a friend is watching. Oh Amanda Seals is the, per- per- the perfect person to host this year to make sure that that message is felt, but doing it in a way where it is meaningful and it also is entertaining. Because let's Absolutely. be clear, her, her Instagram, her timeline, I, Amanda, I love you. Like, when if you come back to New York, if you ever decide to come back to New York, I mean, we don't. We could be friends. I'm, like, I'm <laughs> <your friend>. like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to see how how that goes down tonight. And all right, Daryl, we gotta leave the people the word of encouragement. What's your word of the week? So, I'm probably gonna go with because this has been. I always say it's been a week, right? I literally <laughs> always say it's been a week, and it it normally is because we 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 have the very difficult task of juggling not one career but two careers, right? our dream careers and the careers that we also love to do that support those dream careers. Um, and this is no knock to those who just have jobs. And we all know what we mean by that. So with that. <laughs> Why are you so shady? Not shady, is that shady? Because you get you know a job is. after work. Like, the j- jobs pay your bills, but careers, we're not gonna go there. Either fall. way, <laughs> either way. They should, at least. Okay. I, I mean, yeah. They're, oh, they're, come, they're, come on, Daryl, I'll continue. But, so, uh, a gin so, kicking in. The so word oh, drink is kicking in. So, word of the week. I'm gonna go with self care, right? Because I feel like that's what I need to do this weekend. I feel like I need to like, or to I should say, moving into the going into my new week. I'm gonna take more days where um, I take some time out. I'm able to reflect on the things that I've done and even look at the things that I've accomplished. Because I I know oftentimes we're so busy to move on to the next that we forget that you know you did a b c d e this week you should really applaud yourself like that was a big accomplishment and be just and just be able to bask in those accomplishments so i'm gonna just do i think i'm self-care that's my word i'm gonna take some time woosa maybe uh have a prayer closet moment with me jesus and god and just sort of just figure things out and you know reflect while i do a face mask and scrub because you know we got to keep these pores looking young. i want to age backwards like for real so you know <laughs> oh, okay what about you? What about you? So, Mine is something similar. I'm going to go with detox. Like, yeah. I think sometimes we just got to like detox our minds, detox our environments and just, you know, detox is like taking out the impurifications and really like cleansing. So whether it's like you need to take a social media detox or you need to just clear the certain people who are around you or just your thoughts. Like I, that's my word for the week detox, like just clearing out any stress, any, any bad thoughts, any negative vibes. That is what I'm going with for the week. I'm a, I'm see, I'm about to take someone with, I'm a, I'm a detox while I self care. Can I do mm-hmm. it? Can I do it at the same dag on time? I'm like, I feel like that's what I need. Right? <laughs> yeah, at the same dag on time. I'm right. I'm like, so 
<laughs> cheers. Let's cheers to that because we cheers. want you to also be your best you. So cheers to detoxing, yes, cheers. and for taking care of yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Till then. Bye.